Hi guys, welcome to today's video. For those that are just seeing this face of mine, my name is Renee and this is Renee's Views. On this channel, we'll do fragrance reviews, we do vlogs, fashion and lifestyle and a little bit tidbits and that. Just, uh, in today's you know. video, I'll be reviewing two fragrances from Adal Zafran from the Mega Collection. And um, stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. So uh, let's just dive straight into the video. First off, I'll be talking about Cute Girl uh, Blanc. It comes in this cute white box, basic box. At the back, it's got the, yeah, the shoe. And it's obviously white. The box is basic, really. Um, let's just go straight and bring out, yes. So this is what the fragrance looks like. It's a shoe <laughs> and on the bottle we've got cute girl blanc um, by mega collections i think yeah you can see that so let's just dive straight into the notes blanc this is white and uh it just goes to show that this fragrance is uh, uh very uh heavy on the florals white florals to be precise as well as the the fruits it's quite fruity you know because it's got notes of kiwi watermelon i kid you not like this fragrance, it doesn't smell like, like, you know, regular fragrance. It doesn't smell like the generic ones. This fragrance smells rich. It smells expensive. It, it smells like a Porsche. What a Porsche lady will wear. This is what a lady will wear, like a proper lady. You're going out for dinner. You're going out for a date. This is what you would wear. Like now, Cute Girl Blanc has set to got notes of kiwi, watermelon, heart notes of musk base, um, notes base notes of cyclamen, lily of the valley, and rose. Um, this bottle is a 90 ml bottle, and from what I can tell you is this fragrance is very fruity. It's a fruity fragrance. It's a fruity floral fragrance. It also has musk in it, and yes, this is how it opens up. Yeah, it opens up like so. This fragrance smells delicious. It smells like creamy, yeah. It smells like a creamy uh, fruit fruit salad, if I can say that, like a creamy. Mm -hmm. It smells so, 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 so creamy. First off, when you put it to your nose, you can smell the yeah, kiwi. I smell kiwi, I smell musk. It's powdery, it's quite musky. Okay, it is a sweet, fruity, floral fragrance. Like, when you put it on your skin, the first thing you'll smell are the fruits. The kiwi, the watermelon, they definitely pop. And then when you let it settle a little bit, you get the musk. The musk just, you know, keeps coming out. And flowers, obviously, like, yeah, the florals, I can smell it. It's a very nice fragrance. Um, it's a very nice fragrance. It's fruity. Uh, the projection on this is uh, moderate. Yeah, it, it has moderate projection. Um, the longevity for this fragrance is, it does five hours. Yes, it does five hours, six hours max um, on skin. And then on clothes, it definitely lasts longer. This fragrance is very, very, it's very very nice i would say it's not offensive in any way because it's a fruity floral fragrance this fragrance can be worn anywhere anytime you know it doesn't it doesn't smell offensive in any way like after it dries down like after it projects for like say an hour after it's done projecting it just stays around you like it just envelopes you it also smells rosy like you can get whiffs of the rose in it it's rosy but it's not it's not overpowering what I really get from this fragrance are the fruits and the florals. The rose just comes to play and then the musk, obviously, the musk is there to hold it all together. All in all, it's a very nice standalone fragrance. It just, you know, it just happens that they did it in this form. It looks like the Carolina Herrera kind of inspiration, but this is a standalone fragrance. It's a very nice fragrance. It is fruity, it is floral, it is musky. And um, yeah, it's, you know, for the price points, it's very, very reasonable and it smells really, really nice. 
Yes, I don't think I have anything in my collection that smells like this. So it has a unique smell um, and uh, it doesn't really do bad. The sillage is reasonable. It has a reasonable sillage. It's not monster or beastly, but you know, white floral. It's okay. It's a very nice fragrance. I would recommend this. You know, it's a safe blind, blind buy. And um, yeah, this is, this is not unisex. This is definitely feminine. This is just, this is just for a woman. The guy cannot rock this. I love the shoe and you know it looks nice on my dresser i love it it's a very nice fragrance yes so that's all about cute girl blast next up guys it is cute girl velvet still by adult zafran from their makeup collection line and so let's see okay it's another shoe obviously <laughs> so cute girl velvet comes in this black um black and red uh bottle shaped as a shoe it opens up like so it is a 90 ml fragrance as well and this is a floral oriental fragrance okay so this fragrance has got top notes of bergamot coffee lemon and almond it's got heart notes of orange damask rose jasmine iris tuberose and base notes of ambergris cedarwood tonka bean vanilla and cocoa now this fragrance, to my nose when I spray it, the first whiff I've get, I, I'm getting is the orange. I get the orange in this fragrance. Coffee, not quite. It's a floriental, so I get more of the florals. Okay, maybe in the dry down, I'm getting whiffs of like coffee. Tuberose, yes, the tuberose is definitely there. Then a little bit of jasmine. I get tonka bean as well. This fragrance is a sweet fragrance, y'all. Like, it smells luxurious. It smells expensive. And this is said to be a dupe for uh, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl uh, Velvet. This is what this is supposed to be duping. It smells nice guys it smells nice it smells well rounded well blended together it smells exquisite it smells expensive like this is a fragrance that you use and then you step out and people would just get whiffs of you and be wondering you know, what are you wearing I like this fragrance I would say out of the two like this is my best because this has more depth to it the 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 blanc has got depth as well but Blank is here. <laughs> this fragrance is rich, it is smooth, it is long lasting. I mean, for the price, it is affordable and it smells amazing, guys. This fragrance is, it smells amazing, it smells rich. Like, this is what a boss will wear to, to work, like a boss lady. It just makes you feel so good, fresh. It's slightly fresh because of the ambergris, like, it smells a little slightly fresh, but. All in all, it's a very wonderful fragrance. I like it. I like it a lot. As you can see, I'm beginning to <laughs> go into the fragrance. It's a very nice fragrance. It's daytime appropriate. It's date night appropriate. You know, it's it's a brunch, lunch with the girls appropriate. This is a fragrance that will smell sweet on you. It's not offensive. It won't choke you. It won't make the next person feel uncomfortable around you. This is a welcoming scent. It's just alluring. Like both of them are really nice fragrances. Yes. So uh, there you have it, cute girl and cute girl, cute girl velvet and cute girl blanc. Um, they're very nice fragrances. I would recommend. You. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't done that before, like kindly subscribe. Yes, you, you click the subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, like, uh, comment, share, and um, yeah. Till next time when I come your way again. Ciao.